Welcome back students. We were seeing the topic on control and coordination. As we have seen that nervous system plays a major role in control and coordination of a body. So we will see how nervous system works and what is the role of nerve cell in the nervous system. Now let's first study about the nervous system. You know nervous system helps all other systems of our body to work together. Okay, like uh, the nervous system is you can say like a manager inside a body which control and coordinate all the parts of the body so that they work together and according to their or uh, you can say the stimulus whatever is received. Not only these are nervous system coordinate muscles so that we can do the things like uh, things like reading, writing, cycling etc. The nervous system you know, also coordinates uh, the thing which do not think about like heartbeat, breathing, the working of a heart means we can say and the human, the nervous system receives information from the surrounding, processes it, interpret it and responds accordingly. So it receives and responds the information about what happens inside the body as well as outside the body. For example, as soon as we see uh, food, the saliva comes in our mouth from the salivary glands. So this is nothing but due to our nervous system's response. Okay. Now, nervous system is mainly made up of nerve cells. That means you can say that the structural and functional unit of nervous system is the neuron or you can say the nerve cell. Neuron or nerve cell is the largest cell present inside your body okay this is the structure of the neuron cell now let's see now it look like say electric wire you know it contains uh, the same basic parts as that of that of other cells and its structure mainly includes this is the cellular part of the cell which is uh, contains the cytoplasm and nucleus and this part is con also contain contains you know intermediate hair like structures like here you can see which are called as dendrites okay the shortest fibers of the body. Next, this part is called as the axon. Axon, which has an insulating, um, you can say, sheath or protective sheath or cover, which is made up of myelin. And myelin is made up of fat and protein. So, which is known as myelin sheath. And these cells which are which make the axon are called as Schwann cells, right? And the uh, these Schwann cells are joined with the help of node of Ranveer. Next, these are the exon terminals. Now, these exon terminals are again connected with the dendrites of the nerve cell. Suppose these are dendrites of another cell. So, these are connected with dendrites of another neuron cell. So, like this, one by one, these neuron cells are connected to each other and with the help of which these neurons carry messages in the form of electric signals or you can say electric impulse or nerve impulse. Okay. So this is about the structure of the nerve cell. Now let's see the type of neurons. Now there are mainly three types of neurons. First is sensory neurons. Second is interneuron and third is motor neuron. You know Sensory neuron. Sensory neuron are the neurons which transmit or receives information from the sensory organs. That means you can say the receptors towards the CNS. That is central nervous system. Central nervous system contains spinal cord and brain. Next is the interneuron. Interneuron is nothing but the neurons which link this sensory organ as well as motor neuron. That means the same uh, send impulse. Uh, that means they carry samples from sensory neuron to motor neuron and they act as uh, links so you can say to these neurons. Next is the motor neurons. Motor neurons are the uh, you can say neuron cells, nerve cells which carry impulse from the muscle, uh, send, or you can say they send uh, impulse for uh, action. That means they transmit central nervous system or uh, impulses from central nervous system central nervous system to the muscle cells or you can say the effector cells so this was about the type of neurons so in the next session we will study students how electric signals are transmitted from uh, 
one cell to another cells and how effect you can say the effect or response is brought about in a body thank you